Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So today we will see why to use soft object references, not hard references and how they can be very beneficial. If you are making big games, small games, you should always uh, be focused how you are using your memory and it is very very effective and it will make your game a lot faster than it is now. If you are not using it, make sure that 80 or 70% of the CPU is consuming that power or the memory is going there. So let's see how we can look like how it is using that memory. So first when we will open the label, this is the third person template, our aka. So if I will right click in the third person, this is the game mode. In the game mode, uh, so this is the this is my label, right? So in the game setting, world settings, I do have my game mode. And game mode does contain references like what pawn class I'm using, but the heart class, the play control and everything. So except this pawn class, everything is default. So if I will check the memory map, you can just right click and check the size map. It is saying that 208.7 MB it is consuming that much of memory because of the skeleton mesh which is already inside it it is skm underscore quinn underscore simple so game mode does contain this so if i will right click and click the size map it will have somewhat the same like 208.7 because it does contain the third person right so let's imagine i am creating one hard class so hard bp underscore herd click save if i will right click and let's do one thing i'm creating one dummy variable dummy variable and in this variable i will create one skeleton mesh mesh object reference compile and save if i will click to the same mesh if i am referencing to the same mesh it doesn't matter the things will remain the same see uh, go to the game mode just click save so if I will go to my game mode go to the size map it is still the same 208.8 somewhat same right so if in herd if I will reference this to some dummy or, or some different skeleton mesh because previously it was the same but now I have changed so what it will do it will consume double memory or the different memory because w there are two skeletons now so in the right click if I will click to the third person go to the size map see it is same 208.7 but in the game mode it is 255 so it is in it, it is increased why First, we are using third person character. Second, in the herd, I am referencing my skeleton mesh, which is of 36.5 MB. I think you got the point, right? So, how we will resolve those problems? So, make sure all the assets which you are using, uh, be it the skeleton mesh, static mesh, any texture, materials, anything like that, make sure like you are using the soft reference. So, how we will use that? in the herd so let let me delete it first now you got the context i will remove the herd from the picture and we will focus on the third person character only so i what i will do i will create one static mesh or a skeleton mesh one more and it will be the parent of capsule and i will drag drag it here so what i will do uh, in the skeleton mesh i will put one skeleton mesh uh, called sk mannequin and now if i will check the size it will be increased reference or size map see it is saying 201.8 so it's increased because we are adding this extra 5.4 mb the sk mannequin how to remove it or how to resolve this first in the skeleton mesh component I'm, I am I won't do anything okay first let me take the variable first so uh, dummy skeleton little mesh here 
skeletal mesh if we will use this you already know like it won't work it will consume the memory so what we will do skeletal mesh I will go for soft object reference compile and save right now if I will choose anything let's imagine I'm choosing SK mannequin I have I have selected this right but if I will check in the third person right click reference viewer sorry right click go to the size map it is 201.8 and it is not containing that SK mannequin so my 5 MB those was consumed by that SK mannequin it is not there and in the begin play or anything uh, like in the begin play what I will do I will drag it I will load it so async load asset I do have a function what it will do it will copy the main file from the path which I have given f in the memory and once it is done then it's completed I the object is loaded so now I do have object when we are asynchronously loading some asset it doesn't know like what type of asset it is so we have to cast it so I know it's a type of uh, skeleton sorry skeleton mesh so once I have casted I will remove this once I have casted so if cast fail that means it is not the skeleton mesh but we are quite sure this is the skeleton mesh so it will work and I will put it in this skeleton set skeletal mesh asset compile and save if we will go to the third person go to the reference viewer or size map you can see it is still the same 208.7 it is not consuming that 5 MB extra anymore and if you do want to change the skeleton mesh you can change it here and it will work the same way uh, it was working before so this is one way another thing is let's imagine you do want to spawn some actor so let's imagine some uh, because sometimes people think like they what they can do they can just uh, you know create the soft reference of sub subject so let's create one dummy object so one class actor class bp underscore dummy actor in this dummy actor I am defining some function uh, maybe custom event some function okay and let's do one thing I am creating one object so dummy actor class so if I will put like bp underscore dummy actor if I will put the class reference like this what it will do and let me put one skeleton mesh here skeleton mesh I will choose sk many I hope I'm use not using sk many anymore no okay perfect so in the uh, in this sk many if I will go here it will consume that memory so in the size map you can see it is saying 177 because I'm using as cam underscore many so here uh, if I will use like this dummy actor class BP so it will include this in the third person if I will drag drop it although I'm not using anything in the dummy actor but the reference is there that means hard reference is there so if I will click right go to the size map see it is saying that BP underscore dummy actor will also be loaded when I will spawn the third person character so how to resolve that so in the third person in the dummy actor class do one thing BP BP dummy actor soft class reference use soft class reference compile and save so now if I will right click go to the size map okay it is again using the dummy actor give me a second let me check 
let me remove this let me check it again it is a it is using uh, something in the dummy uh, dummy actor okay so uh, so even if you will create the uh, you know soft reference class type it will show in the size map reason being is uh, it's still a hard binding kind of but it is showing so uh, the ticket is being resolved I just checked on the unreal forum so it is there so in future that thing will be gone so uh, so how to load uh, how to load actor just drag it and what you can do just make it keyboard spacebar and spawn actor from class first we have to asynchronously load the class asset as soon as I'm done I will do actor to class to actor class so connect connect and here you have to do this one transformation what I will do uh, I will add one arrow just a dummy one just to make things faster I will have this arrow get transform transform world transform and this should be good so here uh, this is the method how we will uh, we will you know we will spawn a class uh, with a hard uh, with a soft reference so let's have an example let's play it first bring a spacebar and it will load this class I do do I have this class give me a second let me remove this skeleton mesh compile and save will target okay let me remove this as it is working fine we just saw and here uh, we have chosen this class right pp dummy actor and I will put one print class to cast fail to actor and split it get location world location compile and save let me check uh, have we included anything in that dummy actor yes we have class fail to actor okay okay actually in the dummy actor we have assigned the variable type but we haven't assigned the class so just do it let's try that now space let's load it perfect uh, okay right now let's check the size map right now it is 327 because we are including to uh, skm underscore quinn simple which is not there uh, but it is inside the dummy actor that is why it is showing okay now the next thing is uh, let's load some materials so if I will create one variable called mat dummy mat material mat will choose the variable type material so if I will choose the object material and uh, I do have to drag texture so give me a second let me drag from some textures maybe some dummy texture image reference so let's imagine I'm just dragging some dummy image uh, okay maybe some PNG will work give me a second screen okay 
I'm dragging this so the current size uh, it's in okay the dimension is quite big so it should make some impact if I will check the size reference it is 327.7 in here I will create one material that's it save it assign it compile and save if I will check so previously it was 327 but now it is 329 so if you will check it is at the right hand side it will say a 29 underscore mat so this is the material it is consuming some size so what we will do again we will do the same drill material the material use the soft object reference compile and save again if we will go to the class go to the size map see it is gone so this is how you should do it so what we will do in this space as we have already tested the actor thing I will remove this remove the dummy actor to compile and save we will load the material so load asynchronously asset will cast to material connect and I will assign this to set Material so it will assign this to uh, the zero, so this material will be changed. So, visually, change should be there. Just press a space so the material got changed. And if we'll go to the third person right click size map, check it is not there. So make sure like any asset you are using be it material be it texture or, or, or be it anything just make sure you are checking the size map if it is there or not if it is there just <coughs> make it soft binding and it will be done. It was quite easy but it is very very handy and very important too. It will make your game lightweight because you are you know spawning that thing or including that asset when you do require it you are not. Uh, you know including it unnecessarily because I have seen people what they are doing they are you know uh, continuing like making components making uh, different different variables including skeletal meshes textures and uh, just using it as it is so it will consume the memory and it will make your game sometimes laggy and it will not work in a uh, smaller RAM so if you are uh, sometimes it might be a possibility that you are working on some big projects but it is not working in six uh, you know 20 <coughs> uh, like 64 GB RAM but it is working in 128 GB RAM but that project is not that heavy so it might be a possibility that you are using a very hard reference in order to include the whole chain so this was it I think it helps you in understanding why we should use the soft reference in class and the object and how we should use it if you like the tutorial do like and subscribe because I can see my subscriber is low so it will help me out thank you and have a nice day bye bye